So yesterday I was sitting in on Jeff Pelham's, uh, Pelham's Aquatics, Aquatic Addicts uh, Addiction live stream. I think that's what it's called. I just looked and all of a sudden my brain went dead. So I must be an addict. Uh, and I'm definitely addicted to fish. So anyway, I've got this tank full of, um, I heard, I think it was Adrian, Adrian's Fish Room call these uh, neon orange platies or neon orange swordtails. And so I've got a, a bunch of them in here. I think there's, I don't know, there's 30 plus. And some of the males are just starting to show. I've got two males, one in the original six that was or is uh, a liar tail. Uh, and that one, uh, the sword tail junior, that was one of the first spawn, first out of the spawn. But there's the original male out of six. So the other five were females. Um, and so a couple of the others are just starting to show sword tails now, which is weird because that was a liar tail male. And so far they're sword tails. So I don't know what the deal is. It doesn't matter. But anyway, uh, they were talking about elitism in uh, fish keeping and how a lot of people out there uh, think that there's only one way to do it and it's their way. And I will never tell you that. I will always tell you there's as many ways to do this as there are people. And there's very few, the only way, the only time it's a wrong way is when your fish are all dying. Uh, otherwise, if you're having fun with it, if you're using, you know, unicorn vomit gravel and plastic plants and little little castles and skulls and you love it, you know, that is your gig and you should do that. Um, but he was talking about how at a fish shop, uh, this young kid was uh, looking to buy some, some platies for his first beginner tank. And somebody there, and he didn't know if it was somebody he was with or if it was uh, somebody that just thought they'd chime in and offer up their advice, their opinion, and tell this guy, oh, you don't know, want, you don't want those. Those are, you know, those are lousy. They're, they're crap fish. Um, and uh, it, uh, God, I don't know. I, I just, I thought, you know, that's just rude. You know, he was trying to. This guy's trying to talk this kid into, you know, bigger, more expensive fish because they're cool, and they are cool. But you know, there's a lot more, a lot more to this hobby in the beginning, and there's a good place to start with some of the less expensive. And that's my opinion. Some some of the less expensive, uh, maybe more common fish like these, uh, mollies. Uh, there's a whole bunch of different tetras out there. I saw a bunch of cool tetras today at the local PetSmart, but they must have had a dozen different varieties. It's the first time I've ever seen that um, there, anyway. But anyway, I just thought I'd throw my two cents in here. You know, I think it's important we encourage people in this hobby and not, you know, if this kid goes home with, you know, a couple $20 blue Acaras and, you know, they kick off, he's going to be really bummed. And, you know, maybe he's only got a 10-gallon tank and, you know, that's not enough for a couple of those big fish. So, you know, this, it's important that uh, that we do what we can to encourage and not not shove our opinion down people's throats when they're not really asking for it. They're asking for advice. And I think that's a whole lot more important. And I think that's why we should be here as, and I'm still learning, you know, I was going to say as experienced fish keepers. And I have, I used to keep fish when I was a kid and it's, geez, I don't know, 40 years later, I started keeping fish again. And so experience a little, you know, I watch a lot of videos on the tube and uh, I've got, I don't know, 18 tanks now and a bunch of different fish and shrimp. And and uh, I think it's important that, uh, you know, I find advice from people I can trust. And it's important that if I'm going to give advice, hopefully people can trust me. Anyway, my two cents, as always, uh, questions, comments, smart ass remarks. You know where to put them <laughs> in the chat. Yeah, hit, put them in the chat. There you go. And, you know. Hopefully, uh, do me favors, uh, like, share, subscribe, and I will catch you all on the rebound. Anyway, okay, well, before I do that, before I sign off here, it just occurred to me, I was watching Harlan Ford on YouTube. He's an Australian. He is visiting uh, Dean's Fish Room, and uh, I think it was Dean that called these um, neon orange platies or neon, neon orange sword tails. 
But anyway, just thought I'd get that straight. So it was Dean's Fish Room. And if you haven't seen it, go look for Harlan Ford. Another great set of videos that, that he puts out. Lots of good stuff all the time. He's a friend of Nick's from Keeping Fish Simple. Also, that's where I got really, I'm just gonna keep rambling for a while. That's where I got a lot of my uh, uh, early days and still do uh, knowledge and instruction watching Keeping Fish Simple videos. He's really a prolific fish breeder, really good at that. And then for setting up tanks, and this is probably not the tank you wanna you know, talk about that. This is just kind of a goofy fun tank. But MD fish tanks for aquascaping, that's that's kind of where I learned to do that. And those were, you know, in my early days of keeping fish again about a year ago. And I still watch those guys. And I would highly recommend them if I may. So anyway, once again, like, comment, share, subscribe. And uh, you all have a great rest of your week and into the weekend.